There we go, there's our harvest from the uh, from the gherkins and I've brought a few oak leaves home as well. Now our next thing to do with those is give them a wash and dry them off. Oh, and pinch all the flowers off. So, here we go then. That's it. Take all the bits that we don't want to eat off. A little bit of stem, look. Can't do this because just in case there's any bird poo on them or anything from that isn't good for us. And it don't matter too much about the sizes. You're never going to get them all the same size off of one plant, are you? Or two plants, or in my case, I've got five plants. So that is one morning's one morning's picking up. So what does that do? Now I'm going to dry them off. I'm going to use a bit of kitchen towel. There we go. Now, I don't want to bore you doing the, all of them like that, so. Right, last two. Now, you're supposed to prick them with something stainless steel, so I find that sort of thing. Ah, now I don't know how many I've done, do I? Let's put them by the side then. <laughs> Not quite sure why you do why you do this. I think it's so that the salt, we're going to salt them in a minute to take moisture out of them. And I think the reason for pricking them like this is to let the moisture out, of course, because we want them as crispy as we possibly can when they've been, when they've been vinegared. Right, then all back in there. Like so. And sort them. Now, this is ordinary table salt. Cheap old table salt from the supermarket. Nothing special. Give them a good covering. I'm not too worried if I don't get all round them. But anyway. Because I will probably give them a second salting later. There. That's done that now for 24 hours. See you in 24. Now, now they've been soaking for not quite 24 hours. Hold on, let me think now. About 18 hours. And these salt is turned to water as you can see look so I'm going to actually just dry them off and I'm going to give them and have a little dressing of salt I'm not quite sure if that's the right thing to do but that is what I've always done I mean, what we're trying to do is to take as much moisture out of them as possible. And that is the reason for the salting. That's the way I understand it. So, there we go. And a little extra salt. Now I'll give them another another six hours or so and then it'll be time to um, add the add the vinegar
Yeah, just sterilise the jar now because that's blinking off, that is. Yeah. And that's all it needs. Try it out. Then each one of these I'm going to dry like I did before and pop them in the jar. I haven't bothered to wipe the salt off because I'm not sure that um, I don't think it makes a lot of difference. Um, whether it's sort on them or not. And then you can add whatever flavour that you might want to add. Um, in this case, I've got some dill. Oops. I've got a couple of garlics, which I'm going to crush. I've got an oak leaf of tannin and a little bit of parsley, not much and sometimes a little bit of celery salt also goes down well. Okay, so we've filled them up, and then we've got vinegar. There we go, already, it's already a traditional brewed and matured with a recipe, so you really don't need to add anything at all. You add anything to that, unless we want to, but we've got our washed oak leaf which gives a bit of tannin and I like to add a bit of extra dill which is going to go in and a bit of garlic which we can crush or put it in whole in this case I'm going to crush it there we go done